Welcome back to Spicer Field here at Fowler High School. Austin Felposh was the player that was down and he is favoring his left shoulder right now. So we'll keep an eye on that as their sideline is right in front of us here. But here come the Crusaders. First down and 10. Here comes Tommy Scott off the left hand side. Takes a bump, flag down on the play as Tommy gets a gain of about three yards down to the 22 yard line, gain of two we'll call it. But we will wait and see what the flag is. It looks like a holding and it is on MCC. You know, Austin Felposh is really one of the uh, leaders for this uh, Fowler team. They can, he'll afford to lose him. He is the blocking fullback and also a, one of their leading tacklers on defense. So we'll have to see if he's able to, uh, hopefully he's able to return. Ball moves all the way back to the 34-yard line. First down and 20 for the Crusaders as we cross inside the halfway point of this first quarter. 550 left. Still scoreless between Muskegon Catholic and Fowler here in the District Division 8 District Championship game. More of a wing tee formation now for the Crusaders. Campbell under center. We're going to send Lewandowski in motion. Hand off to him coming off the right hand side. He makes a cut up down to the 30 yard line. Gave about three, four yards on first down. That'll make it second down and 17. Yeah, we're seeing the MCC offensive line. <clears throat> really uh, having their way at least so far. I mean, it's really grown up a lot. It, you know, if you think back to the first game at August 24th in Mona Shores, it was a little over two months ago. It seems like about two years ago. These guys have really come a long way on the offensive line. Second down and 17, T formation. Handoff is to Tommy Scott. Nope. Check that. Campbell keeps it himself after the fake. He's cutting up the left-hand sideline. Gets a nice gain as he's down to the 20-yard line. Gets back past the original line of scrimmage and more. That'll bring up third down. About five yards to go for MCC. Such a weapon to have a quarterback with that kind of speed. You know, like Jared Johnson was a few years ago. And uh, now uh, Zach Campbell is much the same way. He just beat the Fowler defense, just beat him to the edge that time, and now put us in a reasonable down and distance to try to keep this drive going. Third down, six yards to go. You can hear the Fowler fans bring in some noise. Receiver split wide to the right. They're going to hand this one off. Going right up the middle with it is Lewandowski, and he's going to be brought down after a gain of about a yard. We'll bring up fourth down and short, but this is four down territory here for MCC. Yes, definitely. That's uh, Mike Holmes gambled that uh, he, in, in two running plays, he'd be able to get the five or six yards, but he only got about one there. So it brings up a fourth and five inside the 20. Be an interesting call. Lewandowski comes off the field. He's on the other sideline. Jesse Anderson checks in for MCC. And we got to keep an eye on him as he's talking with the trainers right now. Sanford, the lone back in the backfield. Campbell fakes the handoff, rolling to his right, trying to find some space. Get rid of it, Zach. As he throws that one up, it is tipped. And Fowler will knock that one out of bounds. It'll be first down and 10 for the Eagles at their own 19-yard line. So Fowler comes through with a big defensive stop on MCC and the Crusaders keeping an eye on their sideline as Alex Lewandowski looks like they're tending to something towards his feet, his ankles, something like that. Yeah, he hobbled off a little. Two, two big things happened on that play. Alex Lewandowski hobbled off the field. That's the, the bigger issue. And then the second thing, uh, they were able to stop that fourth down pass play. So a big boost for Fowler to keep MCC out of the end zone. And Austin Feldposh, Feldposh checks back in for Fowler. So good news for the Eagles. Here comes the handoff. Keneshek's got it. He's greeted right at the line. And Kari Campbell catches him from behind and takes him down for no gain on first down. You can see the, the Crusader defense is really keying on, uh, on Keneshek. And uh, that time it was uh, Brant McCollum. I can always pick him out, our outside linebacker, with those neon green socks. Uh, came in and made the initial stop. And then Kari picked him up and body slammed him. Zach Campbell's in at safety right now for Alex Lewandowski, who's doing, doing a little running on the far sideline. Looks like he'll be getting back in in a second. Here's Worth under center. Drops back, looking to pass. Pass is deflected up into the air and lands incomplete. It'll bring up third down and nine for the Eagles. Looks like Worth just threw that pass a little too hard for uh, Kevin Keneshek, who is a distant cousin, we're told, of... Uh, the main running back, Tyler Keneshek. But, well, so far this game, we've had two key players from each side uh, 
Falpash and Lewandowski go out with injuries, but it looks like from that they're both hopefully going to be okay. Receiver split wide to the left-hand side. That's Napoleon Watts, worth under center. He's going to hand this one off. Keneshek's got it looking for a hole, and he had one for a moment, but three Crusaders come in and plug that up, stop him at the 23. It's a gain of four yards, but it's going to bring up fourth down and five for the Eagles, and they will send their punt team back out there again. Again, very interesting there. You know, third and nine, and they're, uh, they're, they still don't want to throw the ball. That just shows the way this team is set up. They're set up to... Uh, they're set up to run, and that's what they're going to keep trying to do and uh, I guess try to wear down the Crusaders. Felpach back as a punter. Austin Felpach, that is. Zach Windsor standing at the 50-yard line. Lewandowski's getting a little tape on his ankle right now. Here comes the punt. It's another big kick, and Windsor is going to have to run the wrong direction. Takes it off a of bounce at the 34. Here comes Windsor. He'll take it up to the 39-yard line, so a gain of five yards. A good starting field position for the MCC Crusaders. 2.35 left to go here in the first quarter. We're still scoreless. MCC coming up on their second offensive possession. A nice little play there by Windsor as, as the deep man. It's hard to come in and, and take that position as a sophomore. I... I really like this Windsor kid. I think he's going to be a uh, a real nice part of our team the next couple of years. Well, we've seen him break a couple of runs already this year. His long was 68 this season, so he's, he's definitely got the the build that we're looking for. Here come the Crusaders. Hand off to Jesse Anderson coming off the right-hand side. He gets about two yards on first down, maybe three. Bring up second down and seven for MCC as this clock, if nothing else, with our two running teams, this clock is moving quick. It sure is, and that's a for the. Uh, that's I think the third time this game we've run that scissors counter trap play, and uh, it's just a way to a uh, way to keep the defense honest if they're over pursuing. Run that little counter. Campbell under center, three backs lined up behind him. Tommy Scott, Jesse Anderson, and Blake Samford. Comes a handoff. Tommy Scott coming off the left-hand side. He gets a little burst as he's across the 45 up to the 48-yard line. Very close to a first down. And he out about a yard short. That'll bring up third down and a yard to go for the Crusaders. You know, every time we talk about Tommy Scott, we talk about how fast he is, which is true. But he also runs hard, and he showed it there. He, it looked like he was going to be stopped for a short gain, and he almost picked up the first down there. Yeah, he is tough to bring down. We've seen him a couple times uh, just fight through the tackles. Uh, Tommy checks out. Lamar Jordan checks in here on third down and a yard to go. Campbell under center, and the handoff will be to Jesse Anderson. Jesse makes a cut, dives forward for it. It's going to be very, very close. And it looks like they're oh. going to mark that about a half a yard short. They didn't give him Terrible where he reached. Spot. Yeah, that's not exactly where I would have spotted it either. It's going to be fourth down for the Crusaders right just short of midfield, and you can't ask for an official replay on that one. Crusaders, uh, the officials are going to take a timeout. They're going to measure this one, and that'll let the Crusaders get a... Uh, get the play in here. The decision is whether to punt or not to punt. Yeah, where that where that ball was spotted, it's definitely going to be short. But uh, yeah, Mike Holmes was pointing up closer to the 50, which is where it should have been spotted. We are insurance. We are farmers. Going to be about five chain links short. No, it's not that short. Would have been really close had we gotten the spot that uh, we thought we deserved. I expect uh, Mike Holmes to go for it here. Set the tone for the team early. Fourth down, about a foot to go for MCC. They got to get the nose of the ball just about to the 50 yard line. Campbell's in the shotgun. He's got Tommy Scott right next to him, but this could be a quick kick, and it is. Campbell boots this one. It's going to hang up in the air, bounce at the 20. Come on, stop rolling, stop rolling, and it's just going to roll into the end zone. Jesse Anderson couldn't quite get there in time. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Eagles at their own 20-yard line with 45 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Still scoreless between Muskegon Catholic and Fowler, and these two teams kind of feeling each other out right now, Tom. Yeah, definitely. You know, it, yeah, Mike Holmes did decide to go with that quick kick, but I guess I think he figures that if all Fowler is going to do is uh, is give the ball to Keneshek, that we, we're going to be able to shut him down. So we'll we'll punt and let our defense do its job. Lewandowski still on the sideline. Is Zach Campbell back in at safety right now? 
Here comes the handoff going right up the middle. Watch out. He gets a little running room, and they're going to have a first down as the handoff went to the up back, and that is Austin Felspach. And he's going to be across the 31. It'll be first down and 10 for the Eagles. You know, this Fowler is a well-coached team, and what they're doing is they're, uh, they're testing MCC's defense all along the line, trying to find a weak spot. They found a little chink that on that play. High formation for the Eagles. Here comes Keneshek off the right-hand side, and he's going to get taken down. Nice play there by Lamar Jordan. Again, the speed of Lamar Jordan from an inside linebacker position. Undersized, but he's so quick that he is a, he just uh, runs around blocks. And that's what he did there, and he got him before he could get started. That's going to be the final play of the first quarter, so... So far, we're seeing a lot of defense from both sides, a little more offense from the Crusaders, but just unable to get anything on the scoreboard right now. Scoreless between Fowler and MCC. We'll send it back to the studio for a quick break and be back with more here on Country 93.1.